Happiness and pleasure are not the same thing, despite what the media says. Happiness is a state comprising of joy, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment. It involves positive emotions that brings about peace of mind and well-being. Happiness is sustainable, it is ongoing, it is lasting, and it is mostly long-term. Pleasure, on the other hand, is an instant feeling of being pleased. It could be an activity, an experience, or an aspect of something that is instantly enjoyable or satisfying. Pleasure is abrupt, it is prompt, it is rapid, and it is mostly short-term. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benis Asuk. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, I'm a mental health practitioner living in the UK and this channel is dedicated to improving well-being. Please do well to like, subscribe and share this video to someone who would benefit from it. It is an established fact that our modern day fast-paced lifestyle is taking a toll on our mental health and well-being. I spoke about this in my last video. This has resulted in an uprise in anxiety, stress, depression, and other poor mental health conditions, sadly including death weight by suicide. The pressure, stress, and loneliness that comes with the struggles for survival in these times pushes people into an instant quest for happiness, thereby falling into the pressure trap by engaging in harmful activities in a bid to run away from their pain, their fears, and struggles. This is the reason for the surge in addictions to shoplifting, gambling, illicit sexual activities, alcohol and substance abuse. I'll speak briefly about the happy brain chemicals. There are four main brain chemicals responsible for how humans experience happiness. There are dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin and endorphin. Dopamine, also known as the reward or pleasure chemical, enables motivation, learning and pleasure. Serotonin, also known as the contentment chemical, is responsible for our moods and overall sense of well-being. Oxytocin, also known as a cuddle or love chemical, is responsible for bonding, building trust and relationships. Endorphins, called the painkiller, releases a brief euphoria to max physical pain and alleviate anxiety and depression. Ideally, all these chemicals should be in perfect supply for our well-being and there are natural and healthy ways to enhance the release of these chemicals in proportionate quantities very necessary for our survival. Let's look at serotonin, the happiness chemical for example. Foods that could boost your serotonin include eggs, cheese, pineapple, nuts, salmon and turkey. And healthy lifestyles to boost serotonin are taking cold showers, massage, exercising and getting enough sunlight. The purpose of this video will be focusing on dopamine and serotonin, the pleasure and happiness neurotransmitters. Our modern day lifestyle encourages habits that triggers too much of dopamine and less serotonin. Dopamine, the reward and pleasure neurotransmitters, tells the brain, this feels good, I want more of it. Yet, too much of dopamine leads to addiction. Serotonin, on the other hand, the happiness and contentment neurotransmitters, tells the brain, this feels good, I've had enough of it, I don't want any more. Yet, too little serotonin leads to depression. Like I said earlier, both chemicals are required in the right quantity for a healthy lifestyle and well-being. But our fast-paced lifestyle pushes people into habits that triggers more dopamine, thereby slowing down the production of serotonin, leading to addictions and other poor mental health conditions. The modern insistent quest for livelihood and pleasures sabotages our perception of true happiness. Pleasure is momentary, and chronic dopamine from too many little pleasures reduces serotonin, causing unhappiness. This is the reason for high suicide rates among addicts, especially substance misuse addicts. There is a battle between enhancing happiness through healthy lifestyles, such as eating right, exercising, socializing with family and friends, 
going for a massage, learning something new, an art, music, reading a book, playing, laughing and crying. Yes, crying. Crying releases endorphins, which is a happy chemical responsible for alleviating stress, pain and anxiety. So there is a battle between that and enhancing pleasure through substance misuse, excessive gambling and alcohol consumption, illicit sexual activities, addiction to gadgets and devices and the rest of them which is only momentary and eventually leads to unhappiness. Please note that experiencing pleasure is a natural part of life, but continually seeking pleasure as a means of survival is detrimental to your mental and physical health. Instead, focus on engaging in healthy lifestyles that enhances happiness and well-being. Please share this video with someone who would benefit from it. And remember to like, subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on new uploads. Thank you for watching. Yeah.